Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So few days back I had an interview with Infosys for DevOps engineer role and I have cracked that interview and I got an offer from Infosys as well. So today I'm going to discuss some interview questions with you so that it will help you to prepare your upcoming interviews. So basically there were three rounds. First one was technical round which was one hour of duration. After that 45 minutes of manager round and then HR round for salary discussion. So I applied this job from Infosys career page and after a few days I got a call from HR, Infosys HR and she has scheduled my technical round. So they basically scheduled the technical rounds on Saturday. So she has scheduled my technical round on one Saturday. Then in the technical round, in the tech round, there was one guy who is having 30 plus years of experience. So he started my interview with his introduction first. After that, he asked me to give my introduction. Okay. So first was introduction. So first question was on introduction and introduction like starting from my experience, then the projects, then the family background and the my skills. So in intro, he asked me like my experience then my projects then okay projects then skills and family background okay so i started with aws because i have a prior experience on aws and uh, i worked on aws so that's why he started with aws and he asked me questions like design the architecture in aws which is very highly available and scalable so that type of architectural questions he asked then he asked me questions on terraform because i have prior knowledge on terraform so that's why he asked me questions on terraform in terraform he asked to share my screen and write terraform file for create s3 bucket for different environments then he asked me about Terraform modules, Terraform modules and state file. Then he asked me questions on Jenkins. So he asked me questions like how to add slaves in the Jenkins, then what kind of jobs Jenkins files you have written. So explain me the flow, CI CD flow in the Jenkins. After that, he asked like how to integrate Jenkins with AWS. Then he asked me questions on Jenkins backup, Jenkins jobs backup. After that, ask me to write one Jenkins file, declarative pipeline. Then he moved on Kubernetes. And in Kubernetes, he asked me to write one deployment YAML file. And while writing, explain me each and every line. Okay, each and every line of that uh, YAML file. After that, he asked me questions, some questions on Linux commands as well. So those are very basic commands. So like PWD, top, then the df h so etc. So those are very basic commands, he asked me. Then he moved on monitoring part, like Datadog. So in Datadog, he asked me questions like how to create monitors in Datadog, like explain from starting from the you know agent installation part and uh, one more question so like i forgot in aws uh, not aws in kubernetes he asked me question on helm charts as well so yeah helm charts so like uh, he asked me have you ever worked on uh, helm charts and explain me the helm chart in kubernetes then in datadog uh, he asked me questions on dashboards like how to create dashboards in datadog then how to install agents datadog agents on Linux and Windows. So that uh, that kind of questions he asked me on Datadog. After half an hour, I got an email from HR that you have cleared the technical round and same day she has scheduled manager round. So in manager round, that was very, you know, very easy round. He just checked the thought process of mine and he asked some questions on agile methodology and some basic questions like uh, behavior questions. So I cleared that round. After that, again, uh, within half an hour, I got an email from HR stating that you have cleared the manager round and uh, tomorrow we have a schedule your HR round. On next day, like on Sunday, I guess, she had scheduled the HR round, HR discussion round. So in that round, 
she asked me some basic questions on my skills and uh, like salary discussions then uh, do you have any offer like another company's offer in your hand so this kind of basic questions she asked so that was related to salary discussion only after few days like after uh, i guess 10 days i got an offer letter from infosys so this is what my interview experience with infosys hope this video will help you to prepare your upcoming interviews bye bye